Excella. Hmm? Ah, Yuma Ilvern. Thank you for your attendance. I'm here just like you asked. Did you bring what you promised? Naturally. The souls of the Earth and Sky Dragons are nearby. Safe, I assure you. She's telling the truth. I can feel two world dragon souls resounding. Then we have no further reason to delay. Shall we negotiate terms of armistice? Wait. I want to ask you something before we start. What is it? Why did you specify me? Are you just after the dragon again? Just so. I require the Shining Dragon's cooperation in a matter of some import, before I can agree to withdrawing troops. I knew it! If you're asking us to hand over Yuma, that's not gonna happen. Please, a moment's patience. I do not wish to use the Shining Dragon as a weapon of war, or against his will. I would pose you a question. I've heard the Shining Dragon's soul impart certain bodily changes to its host. Agelessness, for example. Agelessness? I wouldn't know about that, but... Genus did stop aging when he carried the Shining Dragon. Genus? I see. Then he spoke true after all. You and Genus met? The first move was his. He approached me claiming secret knowledge. A way to achieve my goals without relying upon the souls of dragons. So your conditions for withdrawing? I wish to borrow, on diplomatic basis only, the service of the Shining Dragon. With it, I might grant my father's dearest wish. An unaging body. Immortality for the Emperor. That's your price for withdrawing from Alfheim? No more, no less. In Alfheim itself, we have little interest. You what? The World Dragon Souls were the entire impetus for our operations here. If the Shining Dragon presents a less bloody avenue, I will explore it. There should be little issue with drawing the soldiers under my command once Yuma Ilvern's cooperation is assured. <laughs> I accept your reasoning, but whether we agree on this is another matter entirely. Yes, their desires haven't changed. They still wish to use Yuma as a tool, and we don't have a guarantee he'll be returned safely. Ta! Even if this yarn she spun about the Emperor is true, who knows what other stories she might concoct? Yeah, we don't know what they'll do to Yuma! What were you thinking, starting a war over something like that? For a single person's life, you're willing to sacrifice thousands? How many people have died over this? If you can't give me a good explanation for any of that, then I can't negotiate with you, let alone cooperate. As sovereign of a nation, the Emperor's life has value on a global scale. His health is the Empire's health. It's only arithmetic. Comparing military losses in Alfheim to domestic ones following the Emperor's death, infighting proved the more lethal scenario. So you just shunted all the losses onto Astoria? Onto Wellant? How many of their people are dead now? The regrettable and unavoidable nature of war. It's not something we wish for either. You can't just make platitudes and expect it to go away. I won't take that for an answer! <laughs> I come with an open hand, offering peace, terms of armistice. And still you refuse to understand. I will do what I must. Even if the fighting must continue, I will capture the Shining Dragon. What do you mean, capture? Last time you tried that, you failed! I rested on the powers of the Diva Magica like a crutch last we fought. I won't make that mistake again. This time, the first strike is mine. Shining Dragon, you will obey!
Uh. It's over. Or rather, it was hopeless from the start. His radiance answers to no one but Yuma. Not yet. I cannot give in. You're wounded. Just concede already. I must. If I fall here, the Emperor's wish. Give it a rest. There's no need to go that far, even if you are his daughter. Even if? How dare you! What? There's no if to be had. Or does royal blood forbid me from loving my family? While you wag your tongue in ignorance, father lays dying. <sighs> the Empire's stability, tenuous as it is, rests on his shoulders alone. Were he to pass, there'd be chaos, infighting, slaughter. I do not seek immortality for my own sake, but for my country's and for my people's. And more than that, I cannot watch him waste away, nor can I continue pretending all is well behind closed doors. How can I, knowing there are ways to stop it? My wise and gentle father, he is the only family I have. I will not lose him to this. I cannot. My father. It doesn't matter if if he's an emperor or if I'm a princess. He he is home, family. I cannot lose my. <laughs> <laughs> Excella. Like I said, I understand your father's life is important. Even still, that's not a reason to go to war. But if he's suffering, if he's in such bad shape that you're already lamenting him, that's a different story. Excella, I... Stop, Yuma. Leston, why? I admire your compassion. Master Elise would undoubtedly be proud of you. But you must understand, we are at war. You can't accept something at face value simply because a princess took the time to make a speech. How do you know this isn't a trap? He's right. Shed tears can be dangerous weapons all to themselves. But... You said it yourself, right? You have to accept her reasoning if you're gonna build any kind of conversation. I didn't hear you accepting much. Even so... Mm. Your Highness, you're not acting like yourself. Where's that cool, tough, ironclad princess I know, huh? <sighs> You're right, of course. Forgive my lapse. I let emotion dictate for me. See, there you go. There's a princess. Too bad, though. I was looking forward to comforting you in your time of need. <laughs> Still talking in circles. We really must work on that, you know. Is plain honesty truly that distasteful? Yes, it is. But I really was trying it on for size that time. Now, your highness. You ready to get back in there? Yes. I believe so. Thank you, Beatrice. 